Hey, what's going on everybody? Carvet101 here. Last video that is now deleted, I said something about me, um, probably, um, quitting YouTube. Um, that is incorrect. We just got a shit ton of news for Halo Infinite, because apparently today's 343 day, because, um, if Bungie can have, um, their own day, then I guess soaked in 343. So to begin, um, this is basically called, they're doing this thing called Inside Infinite. From what I can guess, it's gonna be like a monthly thing, or maybe like a bi-monthly thing, possibly, in which they just reveal stuff related to Halo Infinite. To begin, um, we get a message from Joseph Staten saying that um, Halo Infinite will be releasing Fall 2021. Now, I think I know why they're doing this um, time, because there's a certain day that's really important in the history of Halo. Um, that just so happens to be in, that just so happens to be a date that's in the season of fall. And pretty much, um, Joe just says how um, he really has liked what 343 has been doing um, since he's gotten there, and he's excited to um, help finish this project up. The next thing is we get an art and graphics update, and we get an image of a um, multiplayer map, I believe, and honestly looks like a Halo 5 map, but like, one of the Halo 5 maps that would make sense in like, Halo 3 or something. It look, it resembles both Halo 5 and a Halo 3 map, if you understand what I mean. And it basically, they basically talk about, um, um, updates on like, the art and graphics, cause, um, that was some that a whole lot of people have been, had been complaining for when at, um, during, um, after the July event. Um, and then we get, we get a look at the Spanker rocket launcher. This shit looks clean as fuck, Jesus Christ. I almost want to not, but at this point I've just got blue balls. And we also get a look at the sniper rifle. It looks great, except for one thing. The clip. It doesn't look right. Please fix the clip. Please, oh god, fix the clip. But then again, I'd be okay with it. And then we get a look of a different part of the multiplayer map in George's armor from Halo Reach, which for the love of me, I can't remember the name of. It's confirmed to be returning. Um, we don't currently know the name of it, at this moment at least. And um, basically, they also go over how, um, how they understand how you know good the Craig meme was, but as like the game designers. It makes them feel like they really weren't ready to show off the game. Then we have an, a part about live and customization. Um, it's basically going over, um, talking about stuff like for the um, live team. And then we get an image of a new armor, which um, I believe we do not have the name of yet either. It looks, it looks kind of like ODST. But at the same time, it kind of looks different. I don't really know how to explain it. And they basically explain that, um, what the live team is. And basically, the live team takes a meta role in our contributions. And that our content tends to bridge experience. Think of things like challenges and progression, customization, achievements, etc. There's no one area of the game these belong to or work to support. Their best functions support players in all the ways they choose to play. Um, so, from what I can gather from that, it means that they basically look over the, um, multiplayer, um, the multiplayer side of the game. Specifically, the online areas. We also get a look at, um, I think it's just the, um, yeah, it's just Mark 7, but it's in a new kind of armor coating called the Watchdog Coating. And from what I can gather from the chest plate, I might be wrong, but it looks like they're going to allow you to have the Master Chief chest plate, because if I'm correct, it's different from the Mark 7 one. Let me just quickly look up the, um, let me quickly just look at him, look up an image of this. Never mind, no, it's just the regular Mark 7. Um, but yeah, it's the watchdog coding. I, 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 I kind of like it. I vibe with it, kind of. Um, and the watchdog coding is the, um, is the reward for what you get for, um, getting, um, max rank in Halo 5. There's also a weapon skin that looks, um, pretty cool. It kind of looks sort of insurrectionist, but it's mostly just the colors. Like, it doesn't really look in the order that it would be in. 
and then we get an image of a Spartan that's in a camo coating. So the camo coating thing was not a joke. And we have a funky looking mix between the Mark V Alpha. No, wait, no, 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 no. It's a mix between Mark V Alpha and Master Chief's armor and Halo 4 and 5 in general. And then we get a better look at um, George's armor. Really, really like it. Um, I don't really know what it's called just yet. I think that it's just called Noble Defender. But it could just be Defender. I don't know. And Noble could be the name. Though I highly doubt it because last game we had an armor called Noble that looked like a certain Reach character's armor. Um, and, well, pretty much... I don't think they'd give um, a game. They, I don't think they'd give two armors the same name, even if they weren't both in the same game. And then we get a look at a different armor set that looks kind of a bit more like um, the looks like something you'd see more out of like Halo Reach or some similar. Um, with a battle rifle, the battle rifle looks really good. Um, but it's also using the Watchdog armor coating. Um, and basically to close it up, um, Joe just talks about how he's excited to, um, ha let people be able to see the game when it's finished. Um, and he also mentions that, um, later in 2021, there will be flighting, which means we will be getting a Halo Infinite multiplayer beta somewhat. So, this is exciting, and... Well, they say that they'll catch us in the new year, and then that's how they close it off. Whew, that's a lot to unpack. And by God, let me tell you, this is just... We've been waiting for it, Halo Infinite News for so long, and then they just give us this bombshell. This is insane! Like, I know a lot of people um, thought that something big was going to be happening um, yesterday... Um, including me, but, um, we were just a day off. We were just one day off. And this is just fantastic. I, my faith in Halo Infinite has been fully restored. I still don't understand what the deal with, I still can't figure out how I feel on the armor coatings. Because on one hand, they're... They're, of course, just a way for 343 to monetize the game outside of buying it because, you know, free-to-play multiplayer. But on the other hand, they're limiting the color options. And on top of that, we have to pay for them. But yeah, that's kind of just how I feel on it. So, with that said, that's all that I have for today. Um, if you like the video, like the video to show that you like the video. If you like my content, um, subscribe and turn on and turn on the bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Have any constructive criticism that you want to give me? Um, put it in the comments below. I'm always looking to improve my content. And yeah, make sure to also join my Discord server. The link will be below. Um, Discord users get to see videos um, a day early, starting next week. And you also just get to be a part of a fun community that um, are all interested in my content. And with that, that's all there is to say. Bye-bye.